Hi, my name is Roger Wheelock. Welcome to another session in our series of Christian Worldview classes titled Thinking Like a Christian. Today we're focusing on a topic which I'm sure is near and dear to the hearts of all of you, and that is the biblical view of economics. We'll look at the contrast between the free market enterprise system, or capitalism, that was established by our founders here in America, versus the socialist, communist, Marxist views that are prevalent in most of the countries in the world today. To begin, biblically-based economics is grounded upon the fundamental principle of human freedom, as stated in our Declaration of Independence, that rights come from God alone, and that man is to be free to pursue his dreams without government interference as long as he follows God's moral laws. The result of America embracing this principle at its founding was, as we saw in the video The 5,000 Year Leap, a virtual landslide of ideas and inventions that catapulted America and the Western world into a level of prosperity never dreamed of before. Freedom encourages creativity because those who own property and have the ability to develop it with the least amount of government interference will use their time, their energy, and their resources much more efficiently than those who have nothing to gain from the same investment. As a result, the number of American inventions from the 1800s until now dwarf those of every other nation. And as you view this abbreviated list, think of where the world would be without these miniature and monumental miracles. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. Americans gave the world the airplane, the threshing machine, the tractor, the telephone, bifocal glasses, the combined harvester, assembly line production, ether anesthesia, the phonograph, the radio, the refrigerator, the polio vaccine, the electric motor, the incandescent light bulb, digital computers, GPS, the heart lung machine, the Hubble telescope, the transistor, the integrated circuit, the jumbo jet, the liquid-fueled rocket, the computer operating system, the internet, the artificial heart, the laser, and of course, the cell phone. America is an exceptional nation. To illustrate this, we see that free market America produces roughly one quarter of all the goods and services in the world and we have less than 5% of the population. On the other hand, communist China produces one third less than what America does, and they have over four times the population. This means that the average citizen in America produces over 10 times the amount of goods and services as the average citizen of China. As we can see with our eyes and verify in reality, the American worldview of economics taken from biblical principles has made a huge difference in the lives of virtually all of humanity. But why? What makes the biblical worldview so extraordinary? And what distinguishes it from other views? Remember, we battle ideas, and only two economic ideas rule in this world today, and they produce radically opposite results. The first, free market economics, called capitalism, which always results, as you will see, in greater freedom. And second is government-owned or controlled markets, such as socialism, communism, and Marxism, which inevitably results in the loss of freedom, as we will see. Now let's begin by examining the biblical view of free market enterprise, and then we'll look at the contrasting views, and you can decide for yourself which one you think is best. The Christian view of economics begins with the understanding that, one, God has made man to be free. Two, God has entrusted man with gifts and blessings in the form of property or resources or talents. And even an idea is considered by law to be your personal property. Three, God has designed man to be productive. Four, God requires all men to be good stewards of those gifts and blessings that he's given us. Five, God has made man to be responsible and accountable for the management of his property and resources. 
Sixth, God has made man to enjoy the fruits of his labor. Seven, God has made man to bless others with the fruits of his labor. And eight, lastly, but critically important, man is sinful. Another biblical principle is economic competition. No other economic system is grounded upon the core belief that man is sinful by nature. The founders believed this. That was the express purpose for the three divided branches of government to provide checks and balances for each other. Because of this selfish nature of man, the most desirable economic system for the average person is one which protects the rights of individuals from being taken advantage of or bullied by others. In other words, it gives everyone equal opportunity to succeed, not just the nobility, the rich, or the powerful. In short, it should be a just system. If all people were inherently good, no one would steal the property of others, or be so lazy and uninterested in working that they would lay down on the job and force others, like you or me, to have to work harder and longer just to get the work done. But we know that in a real world, people are not inherently good. You'll never find a child who has to be taught to lie or to act selfishly. We actually spend much of our time teaching them not to lie or to be selfish, and often we're not very successful. This taking into account the sin nature of man is found only in Christianity. And it is a fundamental in every way we look at life. So of course, it applies in our view of economics, its reality, and we want to live in reality.